Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, Throne and Liberty News. Let's check what is happening on servers in Korea and also regarding global release of Throne and Liberty. Before we start, let me just say subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more of Throne and Liberty videos in the future. As you can see, the biggest news from previous week finally is not related to Korean version of the game, but actually regarding global release. We still didn't get any kind of information regarding the release date from Amazon Games, but we have get finally closed beta test date. You can see here that official announcement from Amazon Games, publisher of this game for global version of the game, that closed beta test with NDA, I'll talk about that later in a second, will start on April 10 and will end on April 17. Absolutely amazing news from previous week and also huge step forward into direction of global release of this game. You can apply for closed beta test not only on PC but also on PlayStation 5 and Xbox and actually check dedicated video on my YouTube channel from like two days ago where I go into details regarding incoming closed beta test. For this evening, just to let you know some main information. How to apply? I will put link in the comments below video. Other interesting information here, you can see platforms I already mentioned, regions you can see here, North America, Europe, South America, Asia Pacific, Japan, Australia and New Zealand. So Amazon games did cover a lot of countries. However, yes, there are still uh, some countries which probably will not be on the list of officially supported countries. As soon as I see a list of officially supported countries for closed beta and for release of the game, global release of the game, I will let you know about that instantly here on my YouTube channel. I know that many players, many of you are interested into that, right? So I hope your country will be on that list. If not, you will need to use VPN. Maybe even there won't be any IP block. That uh, remains to be seen. However, you can see here a list of the continents regions is actually really huge. Other interesting information you can see here regarding languages, also Amazon games did cover a lot. English, Spanish, Spain and Latin America, French, German, Brazilian, Portuguese and Japanese on screen text with voiceovers on English, Japanese and Korean. So regarding languages, uh, they have covered really good everything. The only surprise thing regarding this closed beta test actually is NDA. I was kind of expecting we will see some kind of open beta or maybe closed beta, but without NDA. Nevertheless, NDA will be up. That means no recording of any kind of videos, no leaks, no streaming. That is kind of a little bit strange, I have to admit, because uh, we have get already release of this game in Korea on December 7, 2023. That was four months ago, right? So what to hide? probably some changes regarding global version of the game. So I do understand on one way, right? There will be some changes, optimization, localization, regarding different kind of maybe even in-game features, currencies regarding global version of the game, which will be different from Korean version of the game. So that is the reason probably for NDA. Nevertheless, don't worry, regarding Throne and Liberty gameplay, Check my live streams on Twitch every evening about 6 p.m. Central European time. I'm playing Throne and Liberty in Korea on servers in Korea. I'm from Croatia, but I'm playing on servers in Korea since release, since December 7, 2023. Every evening mandatory. Join me on Twitch if you want. If you have any kind of questions regarding the game, I'll be glad to answer and also to be updated regarding what is happening with global release of Throne and Liberty. So absolutely the biggest news from previous week regarding Throne and Liberty, finally closed beta test is happening. Will we also get in the future open beta test or maybe publisher of this game, Amazon Games and developers NCSoft, they will go directly after closed beta to release of the game? Nobody knows. I assume my best guess would be that there won't be any open beta or any other beta. They'll just go probably directly to release of the game. But I'm just guessing. We will see what will happen very soon. Regarding what is happening on servers in Korea, just to shortly mention, because there is always something happening with Korean version of the game, you can see here producer letter number 11. Within this letter, don't worry, I will not turn this into reading session. I will not read to you everything here, right? Just to let you know, developers of the game have decided 
to lower difficulty of the new dungeons, which is not surprising. They are listening feedback of the players. And players did complain that new dungeons are really, really hard. They are really hard. So they are lowering difficulty of the new dungeons. Also, we have get announcement here that from April 11, we should get inter-server party matchmaking system. Already in the game, we have party matchmaking system, but it's not inter-server. However, you can see here, we are getting new, better version, inter-server party matchmaking system from April 11. Other interesting news, this is interesting here actually, that regarding gear, uh, let me show you this sentence here, quoting developers of the game. To improve the above situation regarding getting gear, regarding getting equipment, we plan to introduce alternative equipment that can be obtained throughout field bosses, guild raids, and field drops. This is interesting, gear from field drops. Does that mean that we are going to get gear from the normal mobs all over the map, like mob drop? Probably that gear will also not be that good, right? Nevertheless, interesting idea from developers of the game. Regarding field bosses and regarding guild raids gear, that is nothing strange, but it is a little bit strange to see field drops gear and equipment. But like I said, probably that gear will not be that great, but you can always extract gear or maybe sell it for some solid. What else happened over there recently on servers in Korea? You can see here new update from March 27th, new PV dungeon, new two-star dungeon, Slayer's Canyon. This is third out of five new PV dungeons which we are getting on servers in Korea. Other changes, nothing too huge. Again, polishing of the game, polishing of the user interface for PC regarding the map, you can see here, and also polishing of the user interface for uh, consoles. That is also interesting. You can see here every new patch note, I have noticed that within last few weeks, let's say three or four weeks, I have seen polishing of user interface for consoles, for controller. I know that many of you will play Throne and Liberty on PlayStation 5 and Xbox, and developers of the game also know that. So they are polishing each time something regarding user interface, regarding controller support for Throne and Liberty. So, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, what else to say except on the end of this video? Stay hyped, stay positive, closed beta test is coming very soon, April 10. That's very soon, apply to participate, even that NDA will be up. Nevertheless, it will be nice to play this closed beta test. And also, just to remind you, Throne and Liberty is already listed on Steam. Add this game to your wishlist and uh, let's wait for some announcement after this closed beta test, I hope regarding global release of Throne and Liberty. Now you are fully updated what is happening on servers in Korea and regarding global release of Throne and Liberty. You will find this type of the video very often on my YouTube channel when I see something interesting is happening in world of Throne and Liberty because I'm really excited about this game. Hype is real, I'm going to play and cover this game a lot regarding different kind of guides, news and updates. So make sure to subscribe and also follow me on Twitch. Follow me on Twitch because, like I said, I am live streaming every evening, mandatory, about 6 p.m. Central European time, gameplay of Throne and Liberty from servers in Korea. Thank you for watching the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Twitch, and see you soon with another Throne and Liberty video.